Okay, let's take a look at examples. Okay, before, we, before we go on to examples, this is the job cost record that we showed you earlier. Um, inputting direct materials on the left-hand side. The middle part, second category, direct labor. This is just capturing all the costs that relates to job number 16. Remember we talked about this 10 Excel DVDs example? Just continuing on filling out this job cost record. So the right-hand side, what we just did was to determine the rate of assigning indirect costs and then multiply by how many hours actually, or how many direct labor costs actually incurred for this job, number 16. So the right-hand side, it tells us that we have indirect costs, $80 assigned to this job. So if you add all three together, the cost for this job will be how much? 420 for the entire, this entire order. So if we want to determine the unit cost per DVD set, that will be 42 because 420 divided by four, um, 10 DVD sets, right? Again, this is not the retail price. This is just the cost side. It's three different categories, materials cost, labor costs, and then we have indirect costs, which is very hard to assign to a particular job, and that's why we predetermine a rate to help us assign a portion of it to each job order as it happens in the year.